Ariel Helwani in New York City gearing up for Bellator NYC alongside very famous boxing promoter Lou DiBella, who is here, of course, with his client, longtime fighter Heather Hardy, who will be making her debut on Saturday. In fact, this is the first time that I interview a boxing promoter since I interviewed Bob Arum at Yankee Stadium, and he had some not-so-kind things to say about MMA. Perhaps this will go differently. I'm not sure. In the past, I've had some unkind things to say about MMA, but I mean, I think I've begun to get it a little more as a mm -hmm. discipline. Um, I still would probably get into an argument with Joe Rogan if we hung out together, yes. but maybe not if we had a couple of drinks or something beforehand. You know that was 10 years ago, I that spot. 10 years ago, and that's, I, I can't believe that people are still like putting that thing up on it's social an media. an incredible moment. Yeah, I mean, it was a long time ago. And by the way, I, I think that there have been changes, and I, and, 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 I, and I get MMA more than I used to. It's not my personal like cup sure. of tea. Like when, when they start grappling and getting on the ground, it's just not, doesn't do it for me. But like, I get it. I get it as a discipline, and a lot of people, you know, uh, like it and, and, and it's a you know I, I don't view MMA as a competitor and I don't have any hate you know that is good to hear now let me ask you about this deal because Heather was supposed to fight for Invicta the all-female yeah. promotion in January that fell through yeah, and but, now but I don't know if she would have done that that, that would have continued very long okay how did this deal get done it got done because Belter actually spoke to me oh. I mean I had the right to kibosh the Invicta deal okay and did you no because of her okay but I was gonna kibosh it after if she won the first fight okay I was gonna go to Invicta and say who the hell you think you are okay they did and it behind I, your back yeah Oh. And they never like, and they did it without any like regard to like the fact that I do have a contract that that covers her competition in any combat sport. Okay. So in other words, like she has a, a her boxing contract without you know uh, approval doesn't allow her to compete in another combat sport. Um, but she's entitled to earn a living. And there's right now the gender inequality in combat sports is extreme. But it's worse in boxing than right now than it is in MMA. Yeah. And frankly, it's bad around the, in any discipline, in any any profession, in anything around the whole country. There's gender inequality. But in boxing, there really is a very low ceiling, because women's boxing's not getting main evented on on premium cable. It's not getting like all women shows on on um, any level of television. But the, the money on Invicta was no higher than I pay her to fight on my little local shows. How is it possible that she's making more in this fight, Bellator MMA debut, than 20-0 in boxing, champion? No, she's not. She's making about similar money. She just money. said that. She's, she's making similar money to, okay. to, what, to what she's made in the bigger fights that she's done. Why, why is there a reluctance to push women's boxing, to put them in the main event? You've got to like ask seen. the television networks. You've got to ask... So they decide, ultimately, who's... What they're going to buy. Yeah. I have no right to put a women's fight to television. Right. Do you um, think we'll ever I mean, get to? Showtime's beginning to open their door a little yeah. bit more, and I'm 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 more I'm a little bit I have some confidence that by the end of by the end of 2017, I might be able to get an all-female card oh, wow. on Showtime. How many but females? I hope Steven Espinosa and the Showtime people are watching this. Yes. I hope they're going to watch Spike on Saturday night. I think this could help Heather. Sure. This kind of exposure. Sure. I mean, there are other women fighters that deserve it. You know, also that have worked really, really hard. How many females do you promote right now? Um, under contract at this point, about, I think I have four. Okay. And is this a multi-fight deal with Bellator or is it well, just I've a one-fight? I've been one promoting fight? women. I've, I've been including women in all my shows for something like six years. One-fight deal with Bellator or is it a multi-fight? Um, no, she, it, it's a, it's, it's a multi-fight arrangement as long as we respect each other's... <laughs> Are each you other's comfortable rights. with this? Like, Would you rather her not do MMA and just stick um, to boxing? So the, you know, there are other fighters I'd be less comfortable with it. Uh, she had a kickboxing background before she was even a, you know, a boxer. Okay. Um, she's been working real hard at the Gracie Gym and real hard on this for a long time. Um, and she's also in her mid-30s, and she's got a, she's a single mom. Um, she's got to support her family in New York. And I can't deliver her uh, a six-figure payday. Okay. The, the ceiling right now for women's boxing and pay is very low. It's not like she's getting paid okay when she's fighting, but I can't offer her, like, winning a big fight um, at the Barclay Center, even on Showtime, on a, on, a, on a Showtime sort of extreme, which is a secondary Showtime platform. It's not guaranteeing her uh, a potential six-figure payday somewhere down the line. Right. right now, there are no potential six-figure paydays for female boxers in the United States of America. So for me to tell a 30, you know, mid-30s athlete who's got a family to support in New York City um, that she can't take this avenue to try to make a better living and a better life for herself. She's my friend. I'm not going to do that. You are without a doubt one of the most uh, successful and charismatic 
figures in the sport of boxing. So I'm just dying to ask you about the Conor McGregor Floyd Mayweather fight. Is Lou DiBella in favor yeah. of this venture? I'm not against it. Oscar should shut the hell up. <laughs> and I would use another word if uh, I don't know what. Please don't go know ahead. This is online. Then he should shut the fuck up. Okay. I mean, he said it's bad for boxing. He walked right? out of some like club or whatever talking about the guy fighting Canelo Alvarez. Yeah. All of a sudden now, the biggest name in the, in boxing, the biggest guy, he's over 40, he's in retirement, coming out of retirement, he's a superstar. Mayweather going to fight Conor McGregor. Probably the most charismatic, biggest self-promoter in the history of MMA. Mm -hmm. And what's a mega event? It's an event. It's not a boxing match. It's a frigging event. <laughs> it's a spectacle. I want to see it. Like, I'm not taking it, like, overly seriously as a boxing match. But you know what? McGregor's got big cojones. I mean, the guy's got balls. Is he a chance? No. Will he land a punch? Yes. Can he win? Possible? Do you give him any chance? Any human being who hits somebody hard enough when maybe they're looking the other way or whatever, there's always a chance. <laughs> I mean, but is he going to win? He's not going to fucking win. But, like, but, it's, but it could be fun. Will you watch? Yeah, I'm going to watch. Will you order it? I you hope go to it. I, I'll probably I mean, go to it. I mean, uh, but I, I'll watch. Will it surpass? I mean, I'm sick of watching the whining. It's bad for boxing. I know, right? No, it's not bad for boxing, up. stupid motherfuckers. Anything that's like making people watch your sport or bringing attention to it is good for boxing. Right. Like, if, and by the way, if Floyd Mayweather does what I sort of anticipate he's going to do, which is like slap him around like he's his daddy, yeah. I don't think that's bad for boxing. Boxing wins. But I don't care. I don't, I don't understand how it could be bad for boxing anyway. People know what they're getting. It's, look, Oscar made something bad for boxing when Chavez fought Canelo and won every second of every round in a boring ass, disgraceful, one sided, shitty three hour pay per view. That wasn't good for boxing. But Oscar, holier than thou Oscar, running around with manifestos about how this is bad for boxing. Shut the fuck up. I heard him mention you. He called you like a small time promoter recently. Yeah, I'm a small time promoter. Right. You know, whatever. You know, I, I think maybe he should worry about getting his life together. What about the Nevada Athletic Commission? Do you have an issue with them sanctioning the fight? No. Okay. No. I mean, no, not really. No. Do you think it surpasses Pacquiao Mayweather as far as pay-per-view buys, $4 million? I, I don't know. I think it, it certainly can. You know, there's a lot of theft going on. Okay. There's a lot of people running around putting things on Facebook. I mean, it depends on I don't know what kind of enforcement's going to go on for this. Um, my gut tells me it, could absol it, absolutely po it absolutely could shatter all records. Um, Are you surprised Dana White is letting it happen? I mean, Dana likes, <laughs> you know, it's, am I whenever, you know, it's usually about the money. Sure. It's about the money. Yeah. When there's enough money, something usually happens. Right. This is going to be a lot, a lot, a lot of money. Okay. And um, so, you know, Dana, you know, Dana's, a, Dana's not a moron. He's a good businessman. So I'm not surprised now. Appreciate the time, Lou. No, a lot of fun. Really this has been great. Too. Two former HBO employees yeah. chopping it up. And, and by the way, keep up that journalistic integrity. Keep the faith, baby. <laughs> Thank you, Lou. Thank you.